Look at this vintage yearbook from the 70s. It's like okay. I have powered through 3.6 miles. Hey guys, I feel like filming a week in my life video. I have no idea what I'm doing this week really. So we're just gonna roll with it and like see what happens. Basically, it's gonna be all the stuff that I do outside of the work day. And if you're new here, I live in San Diego, specifically in Pacific Beach. I've lived here for over a year now. And I think another reason why I like to do these week in my life videos is because it makes me realize that I actually do things that are different each week. I don't know how to describe it. It's like if I don't document it then I start to feel like every day blends in together and I like get this anxiety about like am I like actually doing stuff? Am I making new friends? Like am I growing? And that like stresses me out but then when I document it I have like hard evidence that I am doing stuff and I am meeting new people and it just like gives me a sense of relief. I don't know even just looking back on this year I feel like me right now versus me last year at this time I feel like nothing has changed and that freaks me out but then if I really think about about it and I look back on my vlogs I'm like things have changed I met so many new people I've done so many things and so that's also really why I love vlogging because it relieves the anxiety that I get about like being stagnant but anyways that was an update no one asked for so let's just get into this freaking vlog <laughs> I just finished some at-home workouts. I try to do just like a couple, not every day, but like any day that I feel energized and ready to do a workout. I just have like some YouTube videos that I do. I'm probably gonna read a little bit now. I'm reading Where the Crawdads Sing, which is out in theaters right now. I haven't seen the movie because I want to read the book first, but my friend said the movie was super freaking good and made her cry. And I'm literally only 17 pages in, but the story that was told in the first 17 pages was so sad and look it was in Reese's book club Reese's Witherspoon those are usually good ones and then I'll probably play some like online Catan and watch some YouTube videos and Big Brother before Bachelor tonight protein shakes because we're fit girls we're taking a spontaneous trip to Costco on a Monday before Bachelor oh I forgot Bachelor is tonight yeah it's hometown oh. Kelsey wants to get sunscreen <laughs> To get coffee, laundry, laundry detergent, laundry detergent. Laundry detergent. Laundry detergent. I want to like look at the, the food. keto clusters. Keto clusters. How socks. Do you... Nice socks. Yeah. Y'all, Costco socks are Thank where it's you. at. If I wear my wool all birds, just a day throughout San Diego, my feet are like dripping. I'm not gonna get it this time, but I highly recommend the butter croissants. <laughs> hey. Hey. What, what, what? You gotta check. I just like this thing, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, quick Costco haul. I got the broccoli cheddar stuffed chicken breast. This one is a major classic. We got the pre-made taco set, which is so quick to whip up. Great for a quick dinner. Feeds a lot of people. Mega Omega Power Up Trail Mix. <laughs> is a great little snack. Pretty healthy as well, I would say. Kelsey got some liquid IV. She got some almond butter, some sunscreen, some KB socks. June shine. No, I think Eric's the top one for her. Guys, I wanted to show you I ordered some stickers for my friends and look how cute. I'm actually obsessed with how they turned out. They're like laptop stickers. I ordered from the site called Sticker Mule and I got 20 and it came out to like $1.60 per sticker. Random, but like if you wanna make some stickers, try out Sticker Mule. I got this sweater from Buffalo Exchange and they forgot to take this freaking tag off. I literally got this like months ago and I've just been wearing it with I can't even leave the house because of this. But anyways, it's Tuesday. I've had that corn song stuck in my head the entire day. You know the corn song I'm talking about? The TikTok corn song? And I just wanted to say like, I'm literally known amongst my friends for like being obsessed with corn and being from the Midwest. Your girl loves her corn. So I feel like this corn song was made for me. When I say like, one of my friends almost got me corn for my birthday. This is just, it's been a very monumental couple days for me since that corn song came out. I think I'm gonna go to Spikeball today, which I have not been in like three 
three months straight up because I've been busy every Tuesday, which is when it happens. But you know, I think I'm gonna go show face again today because why not? And also it ends once summer ends. So like there's not that many weeks left. So I think I'm gonna go. Ball outfit. We just got the athletic top, the casual shorts, my bag with my water. Let's go. We're gonna bring a whole bunch of events and then we can set one up. We're just out here hunting for a game. Our friend Daniel has found a game. So number one thing you gotta do is test the net to make sure it's tight enough. It needs to be tight. But it needs to be oh tight. This is so This is so loose. loose. We gotta tighten it. Remember when you tightened it so much it was like <gasps> lopsided? <laughs> it was like deformed. Oh you see <laughs> it's like deformed. Okay. this which I got from Costco and it's like the broccoli cheddar chicken situation and the chicken's a little much for me it's kind of a lot it's like really thick so I'm more about the broccoli on the inside with like a little bit of chicken I very rarely cook meat to eat but I'm going to R PB Run Club for the first time today for that we have to run basically four miles and I'm a little stressed so I have to fuel up. I can run four miles. I've done it on the treadmill. I probably have run it outside too, but something about running with other people stresses me out. I think this is kind of like a social run group, so I might have to talk while I'm running, which is just absolutely devastating to me. Like I need music when I run. So I think I might still have my headphones in and if someone tries to talk to me, I'll give them like one word answers. I'm going because a lot of people Go to this thing so good way to make friends meet new people and get exercise in and challenge myself and i'm friends with the person who like made the club slash runs it todd it happens every wednesday and saturday but the saturday one's like in the morning which is why i think the wednesday one is more popular because that one's like after work so i don't actually have like official running shoes but i would say these ones are probably the ones i run in the most i thrifted these they're Adidas, and I actually just washed them, so they're super clean. I gotta put my freaking foot support in because I got some flat feet. These are so old though. I had these like made by the ortho people to like give me an arch, but look how old and beat up that is. I basically just always switch these from shoe to shoe. If I'm gonna be like running or walking long distances, I like need this foot support. I should probably honestly get a new one made because this is kind of sad. About to go to run club. <laughs> these are our outfits. OOTD, with the baby pack, the shoes, the high pony, trying to power through. 3.6 miles. Do you think we're gonna make it though? I told you I lost the group the first time. We I was literally like dead last. But we need to be in the mindset that we're gonna we'll, we'll do it. Okay, so we can just like start off in the back. Then stay in the back. Stay in the back. It's yeah. hardest for me around like the first two miles. But what, what happens before we start running? Everyone just kind of like is standing around like talking. So, so we have four stops uh -huh. and like that's when people are like kind of socializing. I yeah, no, Kelsey always takes pre-workout before she works out. I don't take pre-workout. I don't either. Isn't that Maybe like I should have. But apparently it's like caffeine. It's caffeine and it's like not good for your heart either. Okay, let's, let's Whatever. I'd rather struggle. <laughs> We are at the end. We only have like 0.3 miles left. It's the last stop, and then we're gonna sprint. Successfully ran the full 3.6 miles at Run Club. I'm about to 
shower and go to bed, but I'm proud of myself. I don't know if we'll do this twice a week though. Okay, well, I've gotten myself a Green Chef box because my roommate Kelsey literally uses Green Chef religiously. It's like all she eats and the stuff she cooks honestly looks pretty good. So I thought I would try it out. I chose the fast and fit category, whatever that means. And I really go back and forth between meal kits because sometimes I feel like I'm saving money because when I buy my own groceries, I don't use all of it but then sometimes i feel like i'm not saving money because it is kind of expensive we got shrimp stir fry thai style coconut chicken curry spaghetti with mushroom bolognese sriracha mushroom bowls the cook time is 25 minutes for all of these except for one is 35 that's pretty fast i think i'm gonna make the sriracha tamari mushroom bowl this is so fascinating i've never seen like a one carton egg this is straight up oh <gasps> it's cracked there's another one though. Is this one also cracked? This one's not cracked. This is definitely one of the healthiest things that I've ever eaten in my life. I think you're supposed to mix this with the other stuff, but I just decided to keep it separate. It's actually really good with the sauce. And then I have the rice with the mushroom and the peanut stuff in this one. Mmm. Ooh, it's a little spicy. Definitely healthier than my HelloFresh meals. Yeah, this is pretty good, not gonna lie. And I don't like salads. It is Thursday after work and I don't actually really have that many plans today. So I'm gonna go thrifting. I do live right by a Goodwill and it's just always tempting. Y'all, I found some gems, especially the pants. Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie is full on back in. It was like super in when we were in middle school and then it was out and then now it's fully back in. Beige, fake leather looking pants that go like that. I was shook, honestly, to find this at the thrift store for $9.99. Kind of on the same vein or whatever. I found these Zara pants. They're just like a classic straight leg. And this was also $9.99. And then these ones are a fun one. I'm a big fan of these. Polo Ralph Lauren. This brand always reminds me of the outlet malls that I would go to with my parents growing up. This is just a pair of sweatpants. Look at the logo. The pink with the blue and the white. Love how preppy that is. I think this with some white sneakers and a white crop top would be so cute. These are also $9.99. And then the last pair of pants I got are originally Urban Outfitters. We have the BDG Urban Outfitters brand. These fit like a freaking glove. The bottom is frayed like that. Kick flare high rise cropped, $9.99. I got two tops. So this one I got because it's Abercrombie again and it's new with tag. So we got the Abercrombie label. It still has the price point, which was originally $69. Seems like something they would sell like today. It's like this turtleneck kind of cut out on one shoulder sweater. It's part of the soft a &F collection and it pretty much feels like cashmere but it's not. So I thought this would be cool for you know maybe like a dinner in the winter time but I was also thinking of selling it on my Poshmark too. And then this is just like a casual sports top that I got because I'm pretty sure I have this exact same one in black and brown and I wear it all the time. This was $6.99. Since I got my green shop this week, I didn't really buy groceries, but I was craving some fruit, so I stopped by Vaughn's. We got bananas, which I'm trying to make into a smoothie. The golden kiwi, which is literally my favorite kiwi of all time. This is better than the green kiwi in my opinion. It's always really soft and sweet. Apparently the happy eggs have better yolk according to my roommates. Apparently when the yolk is like more orange and dark, it's like better for you. Some hashies to go with that. This is like my breakfast essential, our eggs and hash browns. Blueberry. Then I got some lightly salted Lay's, which are my favorite stack. I could literally eat this in one setting. It's pretty bad. Got some oat milk to help make my banana smoothies. And oat milk straight up like never goes bad. Like this is 
good until end of October and it's straight up the end of August right now. I got a bag of apples. I haven't eaten apples in a while and they used to be my favorite. So I'm trying to get back into that. It's Friday, about to go to a birthday dinner for, for my friend Sarah's birthday. We are going to Karina's downtown. She told us all to dress up and to wear dresses and heels. This is the outfit. It's just this dress that I wore for my birthday last year, actually. I'm probably just gonna wear some like white sandals. I'm not a heel person, I'm really not. I can't handle the heels, my feet can't handle the heels. You don't wanna be around me if I've been in heels for too long. <laughs> sale going on in PB very close to me that I found on estatesales.net that I want to go check out today. Let's just go see what's going on with this moving sale. <gasps> what is it? Wait, is this a film camera? Look at this vintage yearbook from the 70s. What a time. Like, I wonder where these people are now. Why do I kind of want this? <laughs> Tempted by this lava lamp. Oh, see, you get, it, it blows air. Oh. It's supposed to like um, blow dust off. Okay, so from that estate sale earlier, I got three things. Handmaid's Tale, which I actually haven't seen the show, but I've heard good things and I know the concept. So I feel like the book would be really good. I found this Alice in Wonderland book, which straight up looks like an artifact. Like it's super old, very, very like almost kind of beat up but i kind of like it and i like how the pages are almost kind of like burnt looking like they're like brown i don't know i just thought it was cool oh this is a good find these people were like chefs or caterers or something so they had a lot of kitchenware and i found this apple shaped it could be a cutting board it could be a charcuterie board i think it's really cool and i got all of this for only six dollars and then angela got a little cards against humanity expansion or deck set for four dollars but anyways i think i'm gonna end my weekly vlog there i hope you enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next video